All right, we'll see if that works. Come on, restream. Okay, you got it now. Great. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if the regulars show up now. Maybe they're eating their dinners or have other things going on on Monday night. <laughs> Sometimes on Monday nights, I have, um, well, in my... In my community, I have Zoom calls almost, well, every week, um, sometimes multiple calls a week, but I have a craft and chat on Mondays and I alternate AM and PM. So sometimes I have a 9 PM craft and chat on Monday nights. That's only 8.30 right now. Andrew, I'm a regular, I'm here, I'm here. Yes, you are, my dear. It's great to have you here. Yeah, I find more people pop in on TikTok than YouTube. Um, more comments, more engagement. It's fun. I'm going to have to do another um, Star Blanket over here on TikTok. Star Blanket uh, crochet along. I gotta do a star, a superstar, and a supernova. I did the superstar, but I never finished it. I did the star and the superstar. I haven't done the supernova. Maybe I should do the supernova next. I've been promising it for a while, and that was like a year ago. Hi! Hanging out and crocheting, what you working on? Thanks for stopping by. Alien invasion blanket. Interesting. That sounds fun. My son has this thing about aliens. When I, um, when my kids were little, they read this book about aliens or something like this book from the library. And then they, they started, like, joking around. Aliens this, aliens that. Well, I don't like aliens. I am scared of them. And I think the scariest movie I've ever seen in my entire life was that movie Signs. And they have the video of that, that birthday party and that alien comes out of the woods, out of the bushes. And they film it and I I thought I almost died when that happened um, that was so scary <laughs> and I was like listen I don't want to hear you kids talking about aliens anymore 
we're going to watch this movie. And I sat them down to watch that movie, Signs. I was like, this will cure them of the aliens, um, their little alien fascination. And they were like, they were definitely old enough to watch it. Um, they were like 10 and 11, something like that. And um, yeah, after that, they were leaving glasses of water everywhere. <laughs> And they still tell me, like, you tear, you you traumatized us with that movie. I'm like, yeah, that movie's traumatizing. That's why I didn't want you guys talking about aliens all the time. Oh, they had this little voice recorder. That's what it was. They had one of those little things that alters your voice and it had the alien sound. And they were, like, um, sneaking up on me and scaring me with that. And I was like, all right, you think aliens are funny? <laughs> Uh, hi Amy this is the six day kid blanket this is a new version that I'm going to um, release on June 1st it has been pre-released along with a lot of other things in my um, membership community it's called the Betty McNitiverse it's BettyMcNitUniverse.com my website is bettymcnitt.com where you can get all my patterns. Sign up for my emails so that you can be notified when this one goes live. But it's a variation of the classic six day kid blanket. It's a baby blanket version. I'm gonna release it with a couple other baby blankets. And uh, my friend Courtney, uh, Goth Fairies Creations is um, designing some lovies, matching lovies to go with the blankets. So hopefully I can get those worked up in time too so I can push those for her. But if you're not following um, Courtney, you should follow Goth Fairies Creations. I know how I tease my kids, right? <clears throat> and then years later my son and I went to get our first tattoo well not our first we went to get tattoos together and it was his first tattoo um, and I got his name on me his name is Teague and he got um, this little alien, he uh, this little line drawing of an alien um, with a cigarette <laughs> coming out of its mouth. <laughs> or he has a thing about aliens. I think he had an alien encounter, or he think may he maybe he thinks he did when he was in an altered state of consciousness in college. <laughs> put it that way <laughs> I'm not really sure what happens ha what happened um, or why he has this thing with aliens but he does or he did last I heard That's a sure way to go to space. You got that right. always loved X-Files growing up. Yeah, I think that's the reference to the alien with the um with the um cigarette. I think that's something from X-Files. But I've never uh I've never watched the whole the whole show.
One thing I try to do is set my work down at the end of every row. I don't always do it, but that's my goal. Or at least uh, slow down. Wow, this looks really yellow on the screen, but it's not at all. It's like a really light peach. Wow, that's crazy. It looks more accurate on YouTube, but on YouTube, this looks gray and it's really like a um, greenish blue. This is the duck egg. I love that. This yarn is Stylecraft Special DK. Makes great baby blankets. Thank you. Um, not last summer, but the summer before I was like, <clears throat> my friend came to visit me and she got me hooked on that show. Um, oh, what the heck is it called? The one with the horses. It's got like, I don't know, 20 seasons or something like that. And it starts off with the girl. She's like 17. Um, and she's, and, oh gosh. Heartland. She got me going on Heartland and at the, yep. And at the, uh, at the time I was like, I don't want to watch this. Who cares? But it's, you know, just such a really wholesome, sweet show. And it's a good show to like crochet along to. And um, I got invested. I got invested in the characters. It's a very sweet show. And um, and it has like a million seasons. So I didn't have to like sit down and go, what should I watch? You know, <laughs> like, what should I turn on? So then I was like, wow, that was really great to like have uh, have something that had all those episodes and what else can I watch like that? And um, when it first came out, I used to watch Star Trek The Next Generation. So I was like, oh, I'll watch one of these Star Treks that I, I've never watched, like the um, uh, Deep Space Nine or one of those. And then I thought, well, let me just... Um, look up like how many Star Treks there are and what order they go in, you know? And so I did, I looked up the order of the Star Trek series, <laughs> watched every single one <laughs> from like the chronological beginning of Star Trek, not the order in which they were released, but the chronological order of the story. And I watched the entire thing, all the movies, everything from beginning to end. That was fun. And then it was over and I was like, oh, now what am I going to watch? And then they came out with um, Discovery, Star Trek Discovery and Picard. And um, I think there's another new one. I haven't really watched any of those. I think I watched the first couple seasons of Discovery. I mean, they're cheesy, but they're good crochet shows. Thanks for following. Appreciate it. Been watching Criminal Minds. I started watching um, Medium again the other day. I I used to watch it when it 
actually first came out and it was on TV. It's like one of my favorite shows. Um, and I would always try and catch it. And then I don't know what happened. I stopped watching it. Um, and I didn't realize there were as many seasons as there are. So I was like, I'll just start watching that one from the beginning again. Um, I think I'm up to like season three or four with that. Um, and it's a good crochet one too. Cause I, you know, if you, if, if you're crocheting while you're watching something, you're not really paying attention to the thing. So it's nice to have something you can just kind of sort of follow along. And if you don't catch every little detail, you're, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna miss out. Um, let me see. Anyone watching that show, that new show called Power, I think it's really corny and goofy, but um, I also think it's really interesting uh, how they're like kind of exploring the dynamics of womanhood and what having like the power to defend yourself would be like, um, you know, to that to that level it's just really interesting um and then the other show that i love 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 is severance have y'all watched severance i just i think it's like one of the most like different shows that i've seen lately just the premise of it is really interesting to me it's like um it's about work life balance and it's on apple um it's on apple tv it's called severance it might be on um other some other channels now uh because it's it's older um they should be i thought they were doing a season two so that should actually be coming soon i would guess um but they have this like chip implanted in their brain and when they go into their office building they um it's like their consciousness is like segmented so when they're inside the building they don't remember their outside world life they just work and then when they're you know when they're when they're when they're outside they don't know anything it's like a privacy um privacy thing why is that coming up that's weird let me just close this quit um or maybe that's why because there's like something running in the background i don't really know what's happening here hey amber i see you how you doing girl <laughs> Good to see you. I haven't talked to you in a while. Woo, camping. That sounds fun. I'm working on the six day kid blanket, of course. This is a new version. Amber has the original six day blanket in her possession. <laughs> Who knew? Who ever knew? Who would ever have thought that that blanket would be famous? And my little doggie, my little dog Mudkip, posing on top of the original six-day blanket. Framed. <laughs> Not on Evie's bed at all. Well, if you ever decide you want your own blankets with your own colors that you pick, You'll have to give me that one back.
you can surprise me with colors. Well, you surprised me with my blanket. <laughs> the original. I can't believe, uh, I can't believe it's even still around. <laughs> How was camping? You guys have fun? You take all your dogs with you when you go? I'm, I'm shocked. You took the dogs and it was really remote. Wow. How'd they do with that? The cannoli. <laughs> Is that the new one? Oh, wow. That sounds so fun. Today I had an animal encounter with a crow. Sometimes I leave leftovers out for the crows and I had some bread in my freezer that I decided to put out today. The other day I had like a half a loaf of sourdough that I had made myself that had I left out and it got stale and I didn't eat it. And uh, so I put that out before I went to bed. And by the time I woke up in the morning, it was gone. And so then yesterday I left this other like, you know, frozen. It was frozen in my freezer. Bread. Store-bought bread from the store. I just left it out on the little table. And that crow was standing on the ledge of my deck looking down at that bread and looked like right at me sitting inside the house in the living room and went ah, bark, 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 right at my face like we don't want this we don't like this bread <laughs> it looked right at me it was like we don't want this the heck is this I really regret leaving food out for them at all in the first place because they, um, I had the, uh, give us the OG six day blanket. <laughs> I had the, um, I had the audacity to like not leave food out for them. And I had these two puffer fish that I found on the beach and, um, one of them was about that big and, I was just leaving it there to dry out to see if, you know, like if it would dry out or because I'm just weird. And it was just sitting there on the bench next to my shower under the house. And when my daughter was here over Christmas, she found a little one. And um, so the big one and the little one were just like sitting there on the bench um, under the house. And one day I went out and the little one was gone. And I was like, it must have just like blown out, blown, you know, blown somewhere in the wind. And I like looked around for it. I couldn't find it anywhere. And um, I was just like, I don't know what happened. Maybe something took it. And then a couple days later, my other puffer fish is gone. They took both of my puffer fish. I guess the first time was just a warning. Like, feed us or we're going to take your puffers. And then they took my puff, they took the little puffer and I didn't get the message. And then they took my big puffer. And they also, no, they didn't, they haven't left me anything. They, they have not left me anything yet. Um, one time I was down here with Maya and... We were leaving them food and they um, they left us stuff on the railing, but these ones have not left me anything. They have not left me one single thing. And they have the audacity to come and like caw in my face like that. They do not want that bread. 
they're like, I don't think so, lady. You must be joking. You don't want this still frozen freezer burned bread. They have not left me a ding dong thing, not one thing. They bring pebbles. Mine don't bring me anything. Maya said they um, they remember faces. And she said that she always um, talks about this guy who trained them to bring bring him money. And they would bring higher denomination bills for the bread that they liked better. I can't believe they took those puffer fish. And they like, I think they sit on my car under the house and they, they sit on the rear view mirror and they poop. So now I have a bunch of bird poop on my car. Jerks. Selena says you crochet really fast. Not fast enough. I have so much stuff I'm trying to get done right now. I got behind doing stuff for knitting fever. But it should be good. It should be good. It's exciting. Um, it's a yarn company that I did some designs for. They sent me some yarn, some really nice yarn, expensive stuff. Um, I did two shawls for them, and I'm doing a blanket, so I have to get that done too. Amy Bryson says, I was just in the McNitiverse trying to decide how to finish off my eight point star. All I have to say is your squared off version is such a tease. Good night, kiddos. Hi, Amy.
Um, yeah, the squared off version is a tease, but it's not, I think, and I don't want to talk too much about what goes on in the McNitiverse out here in the real world, but, um, uh, cause I want people to join. <laughs> So I have an exclusive pattern over there in the Magnetiverse, and it's the eight, the six day um, star blanket with eight points instead of seven. And they want me to square it off, but and I'm I'm working on that. But it's not the way that you all want it to. You all want to make it as big as you want and then square it off, and that's not how the squared off version is gonna work. But um, it'll still be cool way cool now back to figuring out what to do with mine well why don't you use one of the edges from the uh, star shawls use one of the new edges I just did Come to think of it, I don't think I put them in the Magnetiverse. Just the edge. Just the border. I did the new one um, for this. For this one. I gave you guys that one. Hi, thanks for following. Oh, this is a good size blanket. Yeah, this looks yellow. All right, let me try something. Yeah, that's better. No, there's not a there's not a free trial, but Andrew, if you um if you want one, I'll send you one. I mean, I usually do it for like um you know, like I have random drawings and stuff sometimes when I do. But do I have your email? I'll send you a discounted one. Is it Andrew Crochets at Gmail?
Looks like I got coffee on my monitor here. Other settings. All right, I sent you something. <laughs> um, the reason I don't really do free trials is because there's so much content in there now. And when I first started it, I used to be on Patreon. And um, I would... I. Uh, it just got to where it was too much content for one and also the content wasn't really organized um, very well it was like you all know how patreon is it's like it's like just you know me talking to you there's no like it's not like a community really it's just like people getting extra freebies and stuff from from somebody they um, they follow um, and I wanted to uh, oh Amy's over here on TikTok, TikTok now um, I wanted to oh let me think what am I talking about yeah so you could like join my Patreon and my prices were like ridiculously low back then you could join for like a dollar and you could basically get my whole pattern library and people would come in and they would grab everything and not pay and leave. Uh, so that's why I don't really do free trials because a lot of the stuff in there is just like, some of it is like, some of it's dripped out so that you have to be there for a certain amount of time. like. Um, the pattern library is like when you first go in the first month it opens and then a month later um, the next folder opens and it has like three or four patterns in it and so on and so on. But like the exclusives, uh, I should drip those exclusives actually for new members because there's just there's a lot of content just in those exclusives that um you could just grab it and not even you know if you had a free membership you would not ever even have to pay for that and it's not fair to the people who are there like i have people who have been supporting me in there for years years i mean back when three years ago four years ago when i first found out I had lipedema and I needed to have a bunch of surgery that's how my patreon got started um, I was like I need to have surgery I don't have the money to do it it's it may or may not be covered by insurance and um, you know I think I had like I don't know like six six thousand people in my Facebook group at the time and it was just like if everybody here, you know, was a patron, I, I would be able to have all my surgery. And that's how it started. Um, so then, of course, it didn't feel great for that reason. Like, to have somebody just, like, come in and grab all my patterns and then leave. And then I would call them out, you know, or report them and they would call me a bitch. I had somebody tell me, like, you seem like a really like, nice person online, but you're actually a bitch. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a bitch right now because you are, you just stole all my content. 
came in and didn't pay me and took all my patterns. But I um I don't do Patreon anymore. I do um I use the platform Mighty Networks and I just I like it so much better because I feel like I'm actually building a network and um it's not just like oh hey pay five dollars a month and get this extra freebie um it's more than that now it's like i think it's like 14 dollars a month and or it might be 12 plus uh and then if you if you want to be part of the design workshop it's like an extra fee so that might be the $14 level, but um, <clears throat> I meet with people on there multiple times a week, sometimes working on different projects together. Sometimes we have craft and chat where we just sit and talk and work on whatever. Sometimes we all, we do like a crochet along and we all work on the same thing and um, uh you know, kind of follow along together. And then sometimes these are my favorite calls are the ones where we do the design workshop. And that's usually where I'm like designing a new thing. And um, sometimes I give people like the bits and pieces of progress as I'm working on it and they, they work it up and they say, I don't like, I like this. I don't like that. I wanted to do this. So that's what she's talking about with the eight point star and she wants to square it off. That's one of the things we were talking about in there, but that they love that eight point star over there. Oh my goodness. The ladies making that eight pointed star are just like, I don't know. There's something like so special about this eight point star. They love it. They've made <laughs> multiples of them and um so I just I said I would leave it in there as an exclusive sometimes I work up something like that and I I pre-release it to them and you know then everybody over there will make it and I'll be like oh this is cool and then I'll I'll release it or I'll be planning to release it anyways and I'll just give it to them first I try to give new stuff to them like at least two weeks before I um, I release it. But sometimes, <clears throat> like the case with that eight-pointed star, I just kind of wrote it up and I was like, hmm, here's this thing. I don't think anybody's going to want it, but y'all can try it if you want it. And they all, you know, they all made it and they love it. And those blankets are beautiful too. They are beautiful. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to leave this here for you all. This is going to be an exclusive. And anyone who wants it has to come join. I have other exclusives over there, too. I have a six-day kid blanket scarf sideways scarf and um like a little mug cozy six day kid blanket mug cozy it's the six day kid blanket it's not a stitch it's a pattern it's a it's a um sequence of six rows of stitches I have a ton of stuff pre-released over there right now too. I have some patterns. Um, it's just not the season to release them. Like I have this ginormous scarf that I make. <laughs> it's silly. It's actually silly. And I, ha I made it at the end of 
fall and it got too warm to really wear it. Um, and so I just released it over there and it's, you know, it's cold in Australia right now. So there are people in Australia that have made it up and they're wearing theirs around. Um, and I just decided I wasn't going to release it until, you know, later in the year here in the U S. Um, but that's pre-released over there. Complete pattern. It's called the chaos scarf. Retro Rainbow Baby Blanket is pre-released over there. I can't get over how yellow this yarn looks on that on the on on TikTok. Ugh, that is ugly. It's really not what this yarn looks like at all. It's like a light peach. It's definitely not yellow. Andrew's gone. Andrew's in the McNitiverse. <laughs> Andrew left. You did. <laughs> Grab your eight pointed star pattern before your week is up. Andrew signed up for the McNitiverse, sent them a link. I know, right? This is more accurate. I know, it's so weird. I'm like, I have this ring light that shines different colors. Yeah, that's like pretty close right there. I don't know, it still looks, I think that the phone is, um, I think the phone is adjusting the color. I don't, I don't really know. That's about, 
Yeah, this is cream down here. This is cream. Duck egg. This one's called vintage peach. Turquoise and toy. Those are the names of the colors. Andrew, you all should have signed up when I did the business mastermind. I'll have to open back up, open another cohort. Um, Yeah, I come into the Zooms. It's so weird now. I'm looking at this color with my actual eyes, and it doesn't look um, right with my actual eyes. <laughs> Andrew says, I'm gonna be up all night checking out the site. You shouldn't have let me sign up. Don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Amy Lynn 1. I'm an Amy Lynn 2. Just spelled it a bit different. I was looking for the Zoom for the first Halo today. What? For the what? What you talking about? Can't think. You okay? She has apparently misplaced her halo. <laughs> Half moon. You know what? I don't think I ever posted the one that I took the other day. It's on YouTube, but I don't think I ever linked it in there. So I'll do that when I get off of here. I'll link the video and I will um, post those other two borders, just the borders. My halo is probably dented. <laughs> What did you dent that on? <laughs> he 
she's gonna be mad. She's not gonna come see me. <laughs> she's not gonna come see me for my birthday <laughs> if I don't stop. <laughs> Bumped her head on something. <laughs> Oops. You see what I mean, though, Andrew, when you go in there, like, with your free trial, if you had a free trial, you could just go in there and, like, scarf up a bunch of stuff. And dip out. It's on YouTube, but it's, so if you, um, <clears throat> Amy, are asking about the Half Moon Goddess, so the, um, there's a course that I saw you joined today, the Half Moon Goddess course, and it has videos in it from the last time we did it that explain the, uh, that explain it. So you don't really need the video from the other night, but I'll put it in there anyways, because I, you know, we did it, we redid it. So I'll just put it in there again. Are you ready to start that or were you just going to watch it? You got yarn, you could not stand it. <laughs> I was going to give you some. What did you get? I have to take a quick bathroom break.
I'm back. I, it is a one super fine. Holy moly. KC premium yarn three, 472 yards times three could not decide on which color. So I got three each of four colors. <laughs> okay. We'll get that started when you're down here. That should be fun. You can go hang on the beach and crochet if it's not too cold. I mean, it's not cold here, but it's like, um, it's like a uh, breezy. This is a nice size blanket. It is nice. Okay. Now, even though this stripe is not done, the first, um, row of the top this blanket I did it with the I started it with a square this is one of the evolutions of the six day blanket it started out as a chevron and then um a few years ago I people kept asking me how do I square off the top and bottom of the blanket and my first reaction was why do you want to do that <laughs> I like the chevrons at the bottom and the top but here's the thing this having it be flat on the bottom and top makes it really easy to do like a fancier border so I finally gave in and I figured out how to start it straight like this and then build up the chevrons and so at the top it's gonna do the same thing it's gonna start to um, it's going to start filling in these spaces and then it's going to finish flat, but it starts. Um, so actually the top edge rows start here. Um, one row before the end of this stripe. So I just have to pull up the, I don't honestly I don't really need it but um the pattern but I just want to look over it while I'm while I'm doing this so that I can um just check it and I can't find it <laughs> where is it Okay, let's do this a different way. Can't pull. I do things on this computer and then I do things on the other computer. So sometimes they don't always make it to the um, cloud, I guess. So this blanket has a baby blanket version and it has an adult blanket version. So let me just scroll down here and make sure I'm doing the, oh no. Okay, I did it right. All right, let's just see see how I did what's happening here okay okay looks like I did it right top edge row one continues in color E that's this one two three and then skip to four double crochet I'm just checking it Usually I just do this from memory. And then sometimes I don't remember it right and I do it wrong. Three, four, and then three half double crochet. One, two, 
three and then three single crochet. Yeah, because I think the other version has five, two single crochet and a slip stitch across the top. Everything's a little like same, same, but different, you know? That's what makes it confusing. Let me just move this over so I can see y'all's comments. The one I picked to start is Rainbow. Well, that's going to be really nice, but the Super Fine is going to be, woo, different. Did I do it right? How many half doubles did I do? One, two, three. Three half double. Three double, skip two, three double, one, two, three, three half double, one, two, three, three single crochet, one, two, Three. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm doing it. Okay, I can minimize that. Well, I don't think I'm familiar with that yarn, Amy. I'm really uh, interested to see how it comes out. I'm really, in I hope you bring it with you. I'm excited to see how Debbie's is coming along. She has that super fine yarn too that she got. It's on Hanks. Dang, girl. We gotta wind it up. Where'd you get that? Well, you can use my ball winder and Swift when you get down here. Joanne's. I didn't know Joanne's had anything on Hanks. One, two, three, half, half, half. Well, the six day kid blanket is, um, <clears throat> One of those patterns that looks one of those patterns. I don't know if any other pattern is like this. It looks different depending on where you change colors. So in this one, I am doing six rows before changing colors. The color changes between row five and six. And it uses front loop, front post, uh, double crochet to make that the textured uh, ridge line. But just because of where it falls, uh, this last stripe goes into the goes into the square off section. I ordered it online and had to go to Bort Dang. Wow. I was going to say, I know you did not get that in Sharon, PA. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm excited to see what that looks like. The six day kid blanket has six rows of stitches. So um, <clears throat> the original Vivid Chevron 
has you four rows in one color and two rows in another color. All the other patterns have the color changes um, after six rows, but it just depends on where, on which row you start the color change. The snowflake effect, you change between rows two and three. One color will match that. Oh, wow. Okay. It's going to be pretty with that really fine yarn like that. Really pretty and really drapey. Do you have the hook that you need for that? Or do you need to get a small hook somewhere? Did you get a hook? You have new hooks. What? <laughs> 3 3.75 and 4. Wow. Okay. What does that yarn say that you need for that super fine? You got them a couple months ago. Okay. It said the hooks the pattern called for online, but I'm not sure looking at the tag. Okay. Super fine, huh? Hold on, I made a mistake. One, two, three, four, skip one, and one double crochet in the last. What happened to my scissors? I use my pretty little swan scissors.
Oh my goodness, that is so short. Why did I do it that short? What was I actually thinking in that moment? I mean, four by four, four inch by four inch, whatever that means. Am I going to have a micro shot? No, that's your gauge. A micro shawl. Speaking of micro crochet, have you all seen that person on TikTok who's making the teeny tiny granny squares and is trying to make like a full human size blanket with them? And they're like, like, no lie, they're like the tiniest of, um, of crochet uh, granny squares. Where's that pattern? No, that's not it. I think it's here yes okay change to color a did that chain three counting the stitch under the turning chain skip two three front post double crochet one two three three front post half double crochet one Two, three, then it says front post single crochet, regular single crochet, and then front post single crochet, and then three half double, one. Two, three, two front post double crochet, one, two, skip two, one, two, did you see Courtney's TikTok? She had to make 90 crocheted octopuses for an order. So she's doing 90 crocheted octopuses now? Or is that old? Is that new or is that old? She always says, I'm never going to do it again. And then she does it again. Oh, she just finished. Yeah, she's done. I mean, she hasn't posted content and stuff because she's working on those. They take so much time. I think she should contract them out when she gets the orders in the future. Well, that's good. Thanks for sharing the video. Appreciate it. Even if you just click the link, click the, uh, you know, the copy link, it counts as a share for TikTok. Don't ask me how that works, but.
Thanks for sharing the live to three. Linen has a front post single crochet, a regular single crochet, and a front post single crochet. And click link, I meant. Click share the click link. <laughs> Thanks for helping out, sis. <laughs> click share the click link. <laughs> You're the best. I thought I wasn't going to like the cream and the toy next to each other, but it's pretty. I'm happy with these colors, too. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two, three, one, two. Okay. People won't need to get the pattern because they'll be able to watch the video and see me do the hard parts. Andrew, I'm looking forward to having you on our live calls, on our Zoom calls, if you're able to make it. Whoops. What are you going to work on first over there? Or what you been working on lately? <laughs> no worries. We would love to meet you and hang out. Get to know you. I'm looking at a scarf pattern on your website I'm interested in trying. Is it the Metro North? <laughs> we don't bite. Not too hard. <laughs> the Chaos Scarf. That one's only inside the site, inside the chaos hasn't been released yet. It's too chaotic. <laughs> The six day kid blanket scarf. That's a good one to start with if you've never done a six day kid blanket because it's basically like a swatch and you keep going. 
can do two points or three points. They come out really nice. They work up quick, of course. <laughs> but you didn't start with the swatch so the scarf would be a good project for you because it's basically like a swatch that keeps going you can try out all your colors you can try out all the stripes you can try out all the different versions and figure out what you want you can use up your scraps Doesn't that look nice? Oh, I like this one. You can do it. Nobody ever wants to swatch first. Everybody thinks, oh, I know enough. I don't need to swatch. I'm too advanced for that, but you know. There's no such thing as too advanced for swatching. I still swatch. Here's my swatch for this. I swatch it up the colors. Well, and then I actually added another color after I did this swatch, but I didn't swatch it in. And then I used it to uh, plan my edge. Swatching is how it's done. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay, I'm on top edge row three. So I have top edge row three and top edge row four, and then I think I'm going to be done for tonight. I'm going to go work on it in front of TV. Um, chain three. One, two, three. Skip two. Three half double crochet. One, two, three. And then seven, okay. Seven single crochet. Okay, so this row is six, seven, six, seven, six, seven. That's the row. And two, three, four, five. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven single one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six.
Oops. I have to drive all the way to Elizabeth City tomorrow for my doctor's appointment. Wah! Okay, so tonight... I can hear the ocean from here. It's about two hours away, actually. trying to do seven it alternates six and seven it's just not a rhythm that <clears throat> flows I wish I was an MD. I would open a practice there. <laughs> right. They actually told me that he's the only endocrinologist. Um, and they gave me a very wide range from like Norfolk to, I don't know, Georgia or something. I don't know. They were like, don't miss your appointment. If you get an appointment with him, keep it. Because that's it. There's no one else. Yeah. And he's good, too. He's a good doctor. Um, you know, like I'm finding out, well, I kind of knew my uh, last doctor was not really, um, not really listening to me, not really um, being proactive about things that were happening with my levels. And this guy is definitely not like that. And then there was an issue with my with my medication um, being recalled, and I had to call him. I called. I left a message on his portal. Called and left another message, and um, I was like, "Well, this guy is pretty." busy I'm sure and this is probably impacting a lot of his patients and then he finally called me and he apologized like he actually apologized for real and I said listen I know you have a lot of patients and I'm not the only person you know that you have to worry about here and he said nope that's not an excuse and I was like wow really Dang, dude. Uh, 
Okay, I think there's an issue with the pattern actually because I have top edge row four, chain one, single crochet, and then I have I have myself continuing around the blanket, but if I do that, I'm on the wrong side. So I have to add another row to this, to add another row of single crochet, or I have to say, actually, I think I'm going to say fasten off and turn, because I don't really want another row across the top. It's not going to be even if I do that. Yeah, he cares, and he's an older doctor too, so my other... Uh, my other endocrinologist was really young, like fresh out of school, I think. I don't know. He might have just looked and acted young, but he was just, uh, you know, your, your numbers are good, so. That's all we need to know. And I'm like, yeah, but like things have been creeping up. My numbers have been creeping up for a couple of years now. Every year they creep up. Oh, you're good. I'll see you next year. I'm too old for that. I'll be 56 on Thursday. 50 years old. And I can still kick and stretch. That's a lie. I can't really kick anymore. <laughs> Not like I used to anyways. Where I can kick. And you could see my foot over the top of my head. Yep. They just. It was also. You know. One of those practices. Where. Um. You know, it's one of those great big conglomerate practices where all the specialists, everybody's in the same building. And it's just like a bunch of people. All the people are there, you know. And um, all the, your your primary is there. Your endocrinologist is there. Your rheumatologist, they're just, they're all there. And um, I think it just, you know, becomes like, um, you know, they only have so much time with you and that's it. And, uh, he was like always on time. He was a pretty, you know, pretty good about that being on time, but he just like did not want to take the time to like sit and listen to what you had to say. It was just like, I got your numbers and this is, this is what, this is what it is. And, um, you know, your numbers are off. That's probably why you're not feeling well. So I'm going to do this. Like, just, but no time for input from me. And this guy that I'm going to see tomorrow, he doesn't have any computers in the way, in the, in the exam room. There's no computer in there. There's just, he's just sitting there face to face with you the whole time, which is really weird and different I haven't had that in a long time because you know they're just like they're in there they're just typing on the computer the whole time they're in there with you
Hi, thanks for following. Thanks for sharing the live. Yeah, so I'm going to have to change this pattern and update it to say um, fasten off and join at the opposite side. instead of saying um, to continue, as right now it says continued, continue. I think I said I was gonna stop after this row too, but let me just get this started. And then I'll explain to you all what I do. Hold on, can you see me? What I do with my ends, I send them in the direction of, you know, that they match. So I have the cream going this way and the toy going that way. And I'm just going to work over it for like two stitches. And then I'm going to leave it there until the whole thing is complete, the border and everything. And when I work down the sides, I don't work into the holes because that looks, to me, it looks sloppy and uneven. Um, I know people who do it and theirs does not look sloppy, so... If yours doesn't look sloppy and you're happy with it, then go ahead and do it that way. Um, but I cannot do it to not make it look sloppy. And I like this way. I like the little line that it creates underneath the stitches. So I do all my blankets like this. I work into the stitch. I treat. The stitch like a foundation chain and I go under two threads if I can work my way in I go under two threads and I leave one thread of the stitch underneath so I go under two and I leave one under and then the turning chains I do the same thing I treat them like foundation chains And it's basically two stitches into the side of the chain, two stitches into the side of the double crochet, one stitch into the side of a single crochet, but it's not written in stone, okay? You have to, you know, like lay it down and check it often to make sure that it's laying flat, that it's not pulling and it's not rippling. So there's no exact one way that's gonna work for you, um, uh, for everybody's tension, okay? Your way might work better than mine. You might have to skip, especially if you've added stitches. Sometimes uh, my patterns say to chain four instead of three if your sides really curl up a lot. Um, Chain four instead of three, do extended double crochet. If you add stitches at the end to keep it from curling, then you're gonna have to do decreases along this side or skip. See, I have my turquoise end, I'm sending it that way. And I'll just work over that end for like two stitches. 
hi, hello, and then I drop it. Because working over ends does not secure them. I mean, working over ends and nothing else. Well, that seems like two stitches in the same space. I mean, it can definitely come undone, especially how I've done my ends without securing them in any way other than flipping them around the working yarn. This is really tedious. It's like, it's as tedious as, um, you know, working into a foundation chain. It's like that. Okay, I'm going to stop for tonight before I forget that I, like, have to make an adjustment to this pattern and, uh, and do a couple other things. And, oh, it's 10.30. I got to take a bath and get ready for my day tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep because I'm going to be driving a lot. Thank you all for, uh, being here. And I will, uh, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.